Okay, here's an official lap at the Brap Yard. This is the pit stop or the launch pad or whatever you want to call it. This is anything in the, out in the middle here are really just access paths. So the track itself starts pretty much right after this bush. Not that it has a start, but that a moment ago wasn't on the actual track, so to speak. This is the track. And here's the first kind of a bobby pin turn, hairpin turn, whatever you want to call it. Hairpin. This is kind of like a little medium hairpin. Still pretty hairpinny. This is the only place the track, track crosses right here. Take the outside the first time around. Little bump here. Right into a second gear turn. Right into a downshift 90 into a pretty cool S turn, which you can get a little drifty on. Then you got a downshift for the last hairpin. And then there's a little S curve here. Here's a 90. This is a curve that's just big enough to accelerate out of if you've got a manual clutch. It's nice you can get into a better gear. But, see here we passed out of the skill section. This is the outside part of the track. There's a tire protecting a hole in the ground that swallows up little 10 inch tires. There's a really bumpy turn. Here's a little bump that you can get your little tiny bit of air off of when you come down this back stretch. This is a good second gear turn. You can get sideways just like that. This is, the, oh, this is my favorite part right here, I don't know why. outside probably a two gear turn if you really want second gear I mean straight away good for passing I guess gradual 90 that dips into the hairpin the left turn that dips gets tight whoa that's a sliding out then we take the outside track this now becomes the inside loop This little S turn right here is pretty cool. You can't get going too fast though because it dumps you right into this tight 90. Or sorry, hairpin. There's a big loose hairpin. That's a pretty cool S curve. It was cooler before they, those ruts wound up in there, but a little t quick left and right shot here. Some loose dirt right there that you don't want to take too hard. Back around to the outside. Some crazy bumps right there. There's a dip right here. Bumps in the turn, which makes taking that turn quick, kind of touchy. There's a little bump. You can get a little bit of air or front wheel up if you really want. Especially if you shift right into second as you're coming over the top of it. So that's the basic wrap yard track shape. You shouldn't I guess I should name the different parts of the track. So I'm going to take a break as soon as I come out of this skill section again. Downshift into the hairpin, lean, foot out, slide. Dirt's a little bit slick because of the, it's wet from the rain, whoop, almost went out from the rain last night. There's a nice second gear turn. Since you got your right foot out, you can downshift into first as you come around the tight part, which is cool. Gives you a second to shift there. Back into the last hairpin with a downshift. Ricky can get sideways around that. Actually, any of these here. Actually, any turn here, really. So here we're coming out of the skills section with a little quick left right with the loose dirt right there that you don't want to take too hard and back into the pit stop launch pad area and I'm going to take a break so this is uh, this is basically in and out access to the pad from the track going east this is the merge island here 
So this would be coming off the track to head either back to the pad or back to the house or whatever. This right here was just a little, I, I ran out of gas, I need to push my bike back loop. Um, or for parents to, parents or friends or whatever to run, run across the field to see if somebody's okay if they fall over. Um, or a lot of times the little kids when they're learning before they decide to handle the skill section they basically just take this big outside loop right here because there's really there's really nothing intense about it you know there's a little bump here or there but yeah this outside loop is uh, all completely calm except for these crazy bumps right here and right there and also if you hit this way on the left to dive your shocks or if you take that curve too far to the outside you can wind up uh, I think you could get the bike seesawing enough to where you could get the front end to wash out. I haven't done it yet, but I can feel it's a possibility. But anyway, so that's the trick.